Hey everyone, welcome to IPO Market Watch. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this video. We're going to talk about Beachbody. We have a long time to talk about this. Beachbody is a company that uh, went through a SPAC deal with, uh, I think they, they went through, it was two companies that joined together through a SPAC deal. Long ago, we talked about it. So let's look at it now. Why? Because on Wall Street Bets, there's a, there's talk about Beachbody and uh, it's starting to get interest and it's starting to pick up a little momentum. B-O-D-Y, body is the ticker symbol. So digital fitness and nutrition subscription company Beach Body, which went public in June through a SPAC merger, is seeing high interest from Reddit investors after its shares uh, surged on Thursday despite the absence of any company-specific news. A post on the Wall Street Bets forum highlighted why Beach Body is a deep value play to trade alongside Peloton Interactive and uh, we all know Peloton, where it started and where it went as a stock. People are excited. They think that maybe this is the next Peloton stock. So we'll get into it. The fitness industry is massive and going through major structural changes due to the pandemic. While gyms suffered during the pandemic lockdowns, companies with digital offerings such as Beachbody flourished during the pandemic. At the beginning of the pandemic, lockdowns and social distancing measures forced gyms to shut down temporarily and some permanently. Bankruptcies, uh, notable uh, gym bankruptcies include Gold's Gym and 24-Hour Fitness. So FRX transaction details, right? Beachbody to merge with Forest Road Acquisition FRX. That was back last year in June, uh, last year. At a pro forma enterprise value of $2.9 billion, which is two times 22 and, uh, 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 revenue. The pro forma equity value is at $3.4 billion and the pro forma enterprise value is at $2.9 billion. Nonetheless, all right, so the fitness and nutrition market is huge, guys. Fitness and nutrition estimated to be about $1.5 trillion combined, according to Beachbody Analyst presentation. The online fitness market is also expected to grow rapidly from $6 billion to $59 billion by 2027. So uh, after the SPAC transaction, Beachbody Company will be the parent company of three businesses, right? And they already are. Now, they are the parent company of three businesses. Beachbody On Demand, Open Fit, MYX Fitness. In 2019, Beachbody launched OpenFit, the all-in-one digital streaming platform for fitness, nutrition, and wellness. OpenFit users have access to on-demand and live classes led by uh, macro influencers and celebrity trainers such as Shay Mitchell, who has 32 plus million uh, followers. So with the three businesses, Beachbody aims to be the go-to platform for all things, for fitness, nutrition, wellness, capturing three mega trends at the same time, digital subscription, uh, connected fitness, and rising health awareness. Structural change to the fitness industry. 37% of all gym members globally have already canceled or are considering canceling their memberships. 47% of all gym members won't return to gyms. 55% of those exercising at home do not plan on going back to gyms. 66% of all consumers say they prefer working out at home. 87% of, of surveyed respondents who already or will feel comfortable returning to the gym will keep the at-home workouts. So there are three entry doors for digital subscriptions for Beachbody, the Beachbody On Demand that they offer, the Open Fit and the Mix. So Beachbody's numbers were actually quite impressive. The, in, the, the increase in paid digital subscription has been phenomenal, rising from 0 0.3 million in 2015 to 2.6 million so far. Digital subscriptions has uh, a gross margin of 89% and a retention rate of 96%, implying constant cash flow for the company. Beachbody expects $3.3 billion in revenue in 2025, and that is up from zero that he had in 2018. Overview of key drivers that you can see here, the connected fitness equipment uh, section uh, and the, the units in 2021-2025 period, the digital subscriptions that they offer, various prices and so on, nutrition and so on. So Beachbody, is it a buy? When I, when I covered Beachbody, guys, before when the SPAC deal was announced, or as soon as the SPAC deal was announced, I made a video. You can, guys can go ahead and check it out from last year. And right away, on day one that it was announced, I made a video. And I said then that, in, in my opinion, it is a buy. So it is a buy, in my opinion, for the long term. Doesn't mean that it is for you guys. Please uh, do your own research. 
this video is just for entertainment purposes i'm not a professional financial advisor and you know don't use this video as a trading advice so thank you very much for watching please let me know what you guys think about beachbody and have a great day take care